And somebody that's doing multiple businesses, um, could they have one management company? And we see that often with somebody that's managing their own real estate, and they're also managing their own stock portfolio, and maybe they're running a consulting business. Can they manage all of these things together? Um, and the, the example that I've used multiple times is for years, my wife and I had uh, five or six different businesses. I did some accounting, and I did some taxes for people. And I'd, I'd write some books, and so I'd get some royalties off that. And then I'd go out and do a speaking tour and, and visit several cities, and people would pay me for that. And then, I don't know, we did, my wife did a little MLM business for a while, and we, we ran all these things in one corporation. Um, because corporations can have multiple purpose, business purposes and do multiple things. And then my wife came along one day and says, hey, I want to be a massage therapist. And I want to work on people's necks and backs and spines and, and then invite them into our home where she's got a little private office. And I'm going, eh, I don't want the liability of that associated with anything else that we're doing, separate legal business. Not that our corporation couldn't have done it. It's that we didn't want it to do that. Well, she didn't care because she doesn't do the accounting and the bookkeeping and doesn't care about asset protection. But I didn't want it associated with anything, any, any of the other businesses. So sometimes we look at, could a management company manage multiple things? And the answer is certainly yes. Um, and and then there's then, then there's one other little caveat to that is that unless you're a professional corporation or professional LLC, those have to be specifically des f designed for the business of which you're you're licensed. So if you're a physician, if you're an attorney, if you're a engineer, an architect, and you you've uh, if you incorporate, the state's not going to let you have a regular corporate veil. They're going to s limit the corporate veil. They're going to say, no, we're going to require you, if you incorporate, to be a professional corporation, which means that you can have corporate veil protection for slips and falls and wrongful termination and, and I don't know, discrimination and those types of things. But for the practice of which you're licensed, there's no corporate veil. You're held to a higher standard. On a professional corporation, you can't be doing, oh, yeah, and I'm also managing real estate, and I'm also, man no, 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 no. It has to be exclusively for what you're doing, or at least primarily. You might be able to get away with 5 or 10% of your business income being from another thing. Certainly, a professional corporation could manage its own um, brokerage accounts and keep its money, you know, the idle money growing. There are certain things that you could do, but really, it really needs to be licensed. And, and the, the business purpose needs to be exclusively for what you're doing business as.